The first expression we're going to simplify is 2 and 5 tenths times 3 and 6 tenths. First, make a rectangle. Next, split it in half and half again. Now write 2 and 5 tenths in expanded form. Put each new value above a column. Do the same to the other decimal, but write the values to the left side of each column. It should look kind of like a multiplication chart that's not filled in. Now that you've decomposed your factors, multiply 3 times 2 and write 6 in the box. Then multiply 3 times 5 tenths. Write 1 and 5 tenths in the next box. The reason why it's 1 and 5 tenths is because 1 and 5 tenths is equal to 15 tenths, which is also 10 tenths plus 5 tenths, or 1 and 5 tenths. Next, multiply 6 tenths times 2 to get 1 and 2 tenths. Put that in the box next to 6 tenths. Last, multiply 6 tenths times 5 tenths. Your answer should be 30 hundredths. Put that in the remaining box. Finally, add up all the partial products. Remember to line up your decimals so you only add like terms. Your final answer should be 9 and 0 tenths, or just 9. The first step for this expression is to break up 1 and 2 tenths into 1 and 0 0.2. Write the values over the rectangle and decompose 2 and 4 tenths into 2 and 4 tenths. Put it to the left of the rectangle. Next, multiply 1 times 2 to get 2. Multiply 1 times 0.4 to get 0.4. Next, multiply 0.2 times 0.4 to get 0 0.08 or 8 hundredths. Last, multiply 2 times 0.2 to get 4 tenths. Add all the partial products in the boxes to get your final answer of 2 and 8800.